Well, what's up, everyone? It's Matt Morozik, and I thought I would do a quick kind of video, work in progress on one of these um, MU 3D model metal model kits um, that I just recently received. And I started on Starscream. So as I did a video, an intro video, and this is what he kind of looks like when he's done. And I've gotten one leg done so far. So this is what this looks like after about nine pages of instructions and this thing is insanely detailed um i wouldn't say that it's hard to do it's like anything else it's a little fiddly in some areas but it's really freaking detailed very very well lots of little pieces um like this part can actually come off if you want i don't know why you'd want to take it off there's actually a little magnet inside of here um i'm not sure if there's like a, a, a different place to put this on later once he's complete but if you look here, and I'm wearing I'm wearing gloves not to keep myself from, from getting cut, but to keep fingerprints off of these because if it gets fingerprints on there, a pain to clean off because there's just so many surfaces. But like to show you how detailed this thing in is, like so, and just in this knee area, there's uh, this is a piece right here, this is a piece, this is a piece, the big white piece is a piece, that's a piece. The vents are three individual pieces. Um, like on this side right here, you have this big main area that's a piece, and this is a piece right here. That's a piece, 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 that's a piece. Um, this is a piece, all of these are individual pieces, so yeah, lots of detail. So, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna build a little bit for you. Um, I'll try to get maybe like the the foot done in a video uh, in this video like this blue part because i can do that relatively quick i say relatively quick but i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so uh first thing we gotta do and these are kind of the tools i've been using i got the my flat pliers i've got a file here to to kind of shave off any extra little metal bits a razor blade and I'm using these round things basically to make to bend the round pieces. So right now, in the instructions, I've built up to here. So now we're going to build starting here. So um, the first thing you got to do is you got to get your pieces out. So and I've got the the specific runners. These are called runners or sheets, and. Uh, We'll get the first piece out, which is going to be C58. So, like I showed you before, they come on these sheets like this. And I've got <clears throat> several pairs of these Tamiya sharp pointed cutters. And these are kind of like my shitty ones. They've been kind of marred up and stuff, so they're not, I don't care. But normally you would not cut metal with these, because these are about $30 a pair. But these are older, they're kind of beat up, so I don't care about doing that with these. So, First thing we got to do is find that piece, which is C58, which is going to be this piece right here. And we're going to cut this out. And I've only, so far I've messed up one piece um, because it was in the very beginning of the build and I was a little confused on which side was supposed to face out. So I know which piece that is because it's on the foot. And luckily it's a very small piece. And unless I sh pointed it out to you, you have no clue that it's wrong. So, so there's the first piece right there. Just like that. And I was watching a bunch of videos on people who build a lot of these. And um, it's actually pretty cool that one girl who builds a lot of metal earth, she actually has a big flat uh, like board and she puts flat mag like um like magnets, flat magnets, and she puts all the pieces on there so they don't go flying because some of these are very small and it's easy for them to go flying. So we need this piece and then we need two pieces off the A uh, sheet, which I've got to find. I usually have these in order. Get these kind of in order. C D B. 
Gotta find the A sheet. It's right here somewhere. Second, I'm trying to get organized again. Oh, there's A. I haven't opened up A, that's why I couldn't find it because I haven't opened it yet. So let me open up A. So, so far, I've been really enjoying this. Um, it's a pretty relaxing thing to do. Okay, so we need uh, A75 and A61, and these are the two pieces that go on the side of the foot. So I need this one, I actually know what they look like, so it's easy to find. There's that. And I'm also gonna pull out uh, A53. This one's a little, um, some of these pieces are quite intricate as far as bends go and folds. Okay, there. And then I need um, C24. Now before I started this, I, started, I would cut out all the pieces to a certain step, but <clears throat> that can be a little dangerous because Sometimes they, um, once you've cut it out, <laughs> it's hard to know which piece it is. Uh, let's see, 24. Let me find that. Now these are laid out very well on these sheets, um, and they're pretty easy to find the pieces. Let me say that, and I'm having a hard time finding this one. 24, there it is. So like C24 is a very small piece. So those are all the pieces of just the the, the, the the foot and toe part. So first thing we're going to do is we take this big piece right here, and we're going to use our flat. Now, if it's a big piece like this, you really don't need the the pliers. And sometimes it's better to kind of read ahead of the instructions and see what they want you to do because. <clears throat> I I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to actually fold these pieces first. So these guys, I'll get, got to make like a little box. So you take your flat pliers and bend it in like this. We got a long bend like this is a good idea to use your pliers. I don't have a photo etch bending tool. I don't know if that would be helpful with this. These things, these little pliers work really well. And so far, um, I've been keeping the. Um, scuffing up of the colored pieces to a minimum. I really haven't had any scuffing of the pieces. So like there's that piece right there. And then that's gonna go on the side so I'm going to actually kind of go against the direction. I'm going to put this piece on here before I fold this side. And they have these nice little outlines of where the piece is supposed to go. And there's little holes in the pieces for these little tabs. Okay. 
and then I'll use, so I got the first two little tabs in the hole in the bottom, now I'll use my little blade here to kind of nudge this into place. And there we go. So then if we look on the back side here, we got the three tabs sticking up. And what I do is I put pressure on the piece, I squeeze it so I can get a nice tight fit, and then we bend the tabs. Like that. Another thing you can do is you can also twist the tabs. These pliers right here are actually kind of, I actually need some new flat pliers, they're kind of janky. Um, let's see, I can use these to twist as long as I don't squeeze too hard. So if you twist the tab, it kind of pulls the piece in too. So you have those two options depending on what you're doing. So then that piece is on. And now we can bend this up to 90 degrees. We're getting pretty close. Just like that. And I'll do the same thing with this piece. Really need a new set of uh, flat uh, toothless these pliers. These are these got bent somehow a long time ago. Not sure exactly how. Now you do have to be careful because this metal you only have like two bends. If you bend it once, then bend it back, and then go to bend it a third time, it's going to break. So you get like two tries to get it right. You can do some minor adjustments, but it, you don't get more than two full bends, and then after that, it's going to break. So it's better to not bend it quite as far or bend it less than you think and then make adjustments. <laughs> and you'll know if you have it right because everything should line up pretty well. These are engineered very well. And we'll put this piece on. Same way we did the other one. Okay, just like that. And these I'm just going to fold down. I also have a wooden skewer here that I use to fold the pieces. So if I'm folding tab against the painted part, I don't scruff the paint which has been working really well. But yeah, so I push that piece down so it's nice and tight and then I fold the tabs and it just locks it in. Just like that. And then we can fold this up. <clears throat> like this. Okay, like so. And now the next thing they wanted you to do, so you put that aside for now. Next thing we gotta do is do this little detail. Um, so the way this works is, you got these two red pieces right here. And we're gonna fold all those back. Sometimes you gotta use different tools to do that.
Okay. All right, so those go down like that. And then we got this little itty bitty piece right here. And this gets folded. Now, so you have a little extra piece of metal here from cutting it off the sheet. I'm going to sh take a file. I'm going to file that down because I'll prevent it from fitting right. I haven't had to do, do a whole lot of this because uh, they cut off pretty cleanly. And then according to the instructions, these little sides fold up like this. to pick up when you drop. And then this piece right here actually folds up to an angle, slight angle to match the bend in the foot. And then this piece does the same. Come on the back side here. It's a little hard to work with these some of these smaller pieces with gloves on, but it does really it's really helpful, it keeps the fingerprints off. And this is where you kind of got to, it's a little piece like this, you kind of got to play with it to get things to fit. So I'm using my, I'm actually going to bend this tab in to lock this front part down. So I went ahead and locked I went ahead and locked it that in place. So now I can adjust the rest of it to fit. There's that one. So some of these pieces are a little fiddly and can take a little while to to get in, but it's they all fit eventually. thing needs to shift that way. Alright. So there you go. So we got that little red piece in there now. <clears throat> and now what we can do is now the front of the foot will bend. First bend is right here. We're going to match the angle of the toe. Just like that. And then we're going to... First thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this in a little bit. Because then they'll tell us the angle of the toe. Okay. 
Okay, let's see, we got it pretty close. Okay. So there's that piece. And then that's going to go here, and this will tell us what angle I've done this toe at. And then we can bend. Go ahead and take this off and bend this a little bit. Like that. Hopefully this is showing up in camera. There we go. And now what we can do is we can lock these tabs into place. Oh, oh, hold on. This little tab got bent. And it was not in the hole. And then I scratched my paint a little bit there, which is unfortunate. Again, I'm pushing on that front part, pushing it down. It's a good tight fit. I'm pretty impressed with how, how uh, tight everything fits so far. Sometimes I've built a few of those little metal earth things and this is probably me because I've never really done them, but they feel a little loose. So that goes on like that. And now we can bend this over. And I got a little extra piece of metal here I'm going to try to take off. Okay, so this is where I've already bent it once. I don't want to bend it again, but... I'm going to try to file that down just a hair. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and lock before we close this up I gotta put add another piece on but we're gonna do this I'm gonna go ahead and lock this into place Okay, so I gotta add one more piece to the top here and then we can close the foot up. And that's gonna be C56. <clears throat> Where is it? C56 right here. This is cool because it has like um like piston details and stuff printed on it. And it just makes a simple box. You gotta be careful because you want some of these pieces you can't put a lot of pressure on because he'll just squish it. Kind of like working with a tin can. Okay. Just like that. And then it only goes one way, so. They're really good about making sure that you can only put the pieces in one way so you can't put it in backwards or reverse it. And 
And after this, I can close it up, and then the, the toe will be done, or I guess the foot, the ankle. And now we can fold this. lined up perfectly as you get further in steps things lined up better they just kind of lock kind of self-align after a little while I'm using this one skewer because I don't want to mess up the paint Electroplated parts. a little bit right here again just making sure it's nice and tight and then pulling the tabs over and there you go pretty pretty cool so um, I may do some other video on this but that's that's basically what you do with these things you cut them out fold them put all the tabs together um, as far as this whole area goes the trickiest part was um, I'll show you in a second let me get this piece back on the trickiest part are these two pieces right here because the way they want you to put them on is this piece right here has the has the tabs and the other pieces have the holes and it's really it'd be easier to make the tabs come on the outside and fold them but in order to keep it cleaner they have you put the tabs going on the inside and it's a really strange kind of um, com uh, complex bend because you have a bend going this way convex bend and you have a bend going this way and it's a weird shape so that took a lot of fiddling um, but I finally got it and it, it looks pretty good um, so yeah so that was what 25 minutes just to do that one part so you can see why this this leg took about I'd say six hours but it's super detailed really really cool um, and it's pretty relaxing and throw a movie on I can you know I don't have to worry about doing any mask or anything so it's a nice break from painting stuff so every once in a while I take a break from projects so I can do something to kind of decompress and work on something for myself and since I don't have time to paint for myself I figured this is kind of a nice way to break up some of the painting so yeah I just want to show you how those how these things go together and everything and uh, in this piece, I scratched the paint a little bit right here because the tab, I thought the tab was going in the hole and actually pushed out. So if you do that, you can get yourself, um, if you want to, you can get yourself like a little blue marker and touch it up. Um, some of the white paints has scraped off on some of these tabs. So I've gone on with like a little uh, white paint and just touched it up. If it's a dark metal, just a Sharpie and I just touched it up, but um, it looks good. But yeah, so where if you do these wear gloves to keep the fingerprints off because otherwise it, it, if it's full of fingerprints you lose the shine you know part of the cool thing about this is how shiny they are you know it's like a chromed out blinged out star scream so but there you go so that's um i'll just call it maybe work in progress one and i'll do some more later as we get further along maybe after i do the second leg and i get to the torso and stuff i'll do a, another video um because it, again it's just cutting folding and putting together but it's a really cool, I mean, he's just cool looking. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. This is Matt Rosick. Catch you guys next time. Bye.